A new genetic mutation of COVID-19 that has spread through the United Kingdom is up to 70% more contagious than other variants. As Japan closes borders to foreign nationals, is there a way to keep it out of Hawaii without shuttering our doors? I spoke with an expert to find out. The new variant in the UK began back in early September. It hasn't been found to be more deadly, but it is much more transmissible. COVID-19 testing expert Dr. Scott Miskovich says it will be very difficult to control. I really don't think there's a chance this is going to be kept out of the world. Dr. Miskovich thinks it could already be in places like Los Angeles that have visitors from the UK. So is it in Hawaii right now? Possibly. Are we going to stop it? The only way we're going to stop it is continue with the village vigilance that we're doing with the testing and the pre-testing and the follow-up uh, testing once people arrive. So, you know, it's, hopefully we're not going to let it spread to be the only variant we have. Even if it isn't more deadly, the contagious nature of this variant could result in more deaths. If we look at the fact that this gets into our vulnerable population, which is our elderly or people with immunocompromised or chronic illness, of course there can be more death. So that is what we're worried about. It is uh, definitely more contagious. Fortunately, it doesn't look to impact how effective the vaccine rollout is here in the islands. The good news is almost all indications are right now. It does not change the effectiveness of the vaccine. The vaccine, so everyone should understand, is mostly identifying the proteins in those spikes. But it's the general proteins. It's not just a little one single code or two codes or eight codes. So the vaccine looks like it still will be effective. Big picture, Dr. Miskovich says it could impact how many people need to be vaccinated or get the virus to achieve herd immunity. But the higher the infectivity is of that virus with this new variant, it often will push the, the rate up of how many people need to have immunity before you can start seeing effective spread. Starting Monday, passengers flying from the United Kingdom to the U.S. must test negative for COVID-19 within 72 hours of their departure. Documentation of the test results will be required.